Hello, you awesome admin. Welcome to another episode of Did You Know? Now, today's Did You Know is going to be a little bit different. You may have heard about the admin skills kit that we've released here at the admin relations team. It's a really important kit that shows you, the admin, the skills that you may need, both technical and business skills, that can contribute to your success in your role. I want to focus a little bit on project management and how project management skills can really impact your career. And so what we're going to use is MuleSoft Composer. What we're going to do is we're going to create a task in an external system, Asana, to help us better manage a project that started in Salesforce. So why don't we go ahead and take a look at how MuleSoft Composer can help you integrate without any code at all to up your project management skills game. The first thing that we do is head into the MuleSoft Composer application. In the upper right hand corner, you'll see a Create New Flow button. So we're going to go ahead and click that. Now that we've opened MuleSoft Composer, we're going to select our Salesforce organization. We'll give it a name, in this case, Northern Trail Outfitters, and then it wants our credentials. So I'm logging in with my Salesforce credentials for this organization, and now we have access to all of the objects and data in our org. I'm choosing new or updated record, and we're going to choose the focus group record. Then we're going to select fields that we would like to be available later in our MuleSoft Composer flow. So I'll go ahead and click select fields. And for this, the stage is really the most important field. So I've added that to our flow, and now I'm going to add a step. I scrolled down past all of the connectors into the if else block. And now what I'm going to say is when the stage of a focus group equals confirmed, I'd like to do something. That thing is going to be create a task in Asana. So I select Asana here and I name my connection NTO marketing for our marketing org at NTO. And now it's going to ask me to log in to my Asana instance. So I have authenticated into Asana and now I'm telling uh, MuleSoft Composer that I'd like to create a task. I put in the name of my workspace ID as well as the project ID. And now I'm going to name the task I want to create. So I create a task called request vendor quote, and the description is going to be standard vendor process, please. Uh, we aren't going to assign this to a particular person. It's going to go into a general inbox or a queue, and it's going to be upcoming. And it is not completed, so I'm giving it a value of false. And then for the due date, I'm going to use our uh, custom expression editor. So I first select um, add days from now, and how many days are we going to add? And the answer is three. So the task will be due three days from the day that it is created. So I'm going to save and then activate this MuleSoft flow. And it'll prompt me for a name. So here I'll go ahead and put in the name Focus Groups. And we're going to call it Vendor Quotes. I'll apply this name. And then we'll go into an actual focus group record. OK, here we are. I'm going to go ahead and select the Confirmed Stage. Market is the current stage, and we'll see, OK, great, the stage has been changed. Now let's go ahead and take a look in Asana, and there we are. You can see a request vendor quote uh, task that's been created, and in the details you'll see it says standard vendor process, please. And you'll also see that the date is uh, Thursday, the due date is Thursday. So that concludes this session of Did You Know? I hope you enjoyed it. If you've got any questions, please make sure to throw them down there in our YouTube comments uh, and make sure to like and subscribe. Thank you very much, and I'll see you the next time. Awesome, man.